We're getting a look at new body camera footage tonight of a Santa Maria police shooting that happened last month. The video was coincidentally released on the same day as the Tyree Nichols police beating body camera footage. We want to warn you the video you're about to see here may be disturbing for some viewers, but we have deliberately edited the video so you do not see the shooting. You will, however, hear shots being fired. The man who was shot did survive and was ultimately arrested for carjacking, assault with a deadly weapon and other charges. News Channel reporter Tony Almanza takes a closer look at the video. Newly released body camera footage shows the events leading up to a police shooting in Santa Maria on December 15th, 2022. The incident begins with a woman calling 911 to report a man stealing her car. The ERP says something about a gun and the subject possibly trying to take her vehicle. We're trying to get further. Police then start chasing the driver of the stolen car near Cook and College. The car strikes two other cars damaging the front left tire, but the driver continues. Pretty dam uh, heavily damaged on the driver's side. It's not going to last long. TC-711, TC-711. When the driver eventually stops, police approach the car and find a man holding what appears to be a gun to his head. Shortly after, the video shows the man stepping out of his car and an officer opens fire. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Don't know what he's trying to climb out. He's climbing out now. He's going to be a dead still. The man was injured and runs inside a nearby business. The business shows the man putting his weapon to the neck of an employee. That employee manages to disarm the man and runs away. Officers eventually go into the business to arrest the man and provide medical aid. Investigators later determined the weapon the man was holding was a BB gun. Police say the man was identified as 24-year-old Francisco Solano Gomez. The investigation into the shooting is still ongoing. In Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Tony Almanza.